everyone, this is Shannon from theirishscrapper.com and today we're going to create this fun fold um, card using my favorite bundle of the holiday catalog, the Let It Snow. And we are going to be doing some punching, some puff paint for snowballs. Hopefully you can see those are like puffed up. It's so much fun. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about the supplies that we're using and the dimensions and then we will get started. So for our card base, I am using a piece of real red. This is cut down to seven and a half by five and a half, and I have it scored at four and a quarter. And then I have a piece, so you can get, depending on how you cut your eight and a half by eleven piece, you can get two cards with your um, flap, we'll call it, out of one piece with very minimal waste. All you'll have is the little part that you flagged left over. So it's an awesome way um, to save on paper and create you know, the most out of your sheet. Um, so the flagged piece itself is, um, let me see, is it one and a quarter or one? Let me look, I think it's one, yeah. It's one and I've scored it at one and a quarter. So this is how this will assemble. I like to put mine in the center. You could put it lower, you could put it higher, wherever you'd like it. I try to get it about in the center. I have a piece of Whisper White that is four by five and a quarter, and we are going to adhere these together. Okay, so that'll create the card. We have two pieces of designer series paper. This one is three by five and a quarter, and this one is one and a quarter by five and a quarter. So this will go on our inside like so and this will go here okay and then let me show you the beautiful um, designer series paper that comes in this suite these are the patterns so um, I've, I've used quite a bit of this one you can see they're double sided this is the, the side that we're going to use you have a cute set of mittens here and the other side is another versatile striped pattern you have a lovely snowman and then some snow. And what I like about this is it's using, a, it's really not traditional colors because the Coastal Cabana is a little light, but I do love it um, for the holiday season. So this is a great um, pattern as well. And then you have some fun snowmen. Now this one does not coordinate with the punch, but you could definitely fussy cut this out or use your your layering dies, your squares, your circles, your ovals, that would be great. Again, you have some stripes. And then this is the piece that you can actually use with the punch that comes with the suite. So the punch will punch out this um, snowman perfectly. Oops, the one without the hat. Um, and that's what we're going to do for today's project. And then the back side looks like that. And so these could be easily fussy cutted as well. Um, or used in squares also. So like I said, the punch is awesome. It, um, it does the snowman and it also does the hat, the nose, and the arms. So you can do as many snowmen as you want, right, out of regular paper um, that we have in the catalog. And we also have an embellishment kit that comes in this suite, so we're going to be using a few pieces of this. So here is um, some stickers. This is arms, nose, and the coal. Um, you have some felt pieces that have the hat, uh, hat mittens, and scarves. So let me try to show you. Here's one of the, the scarves, and here's a little set of mittens. You have some snow, and then you also get um, some glitter uh, washi tape. So this is a fun um, kit to pair with, with your products. It comes in this cute little box, which you could reuse for gifts, which I love. All right, and so we're also going to be using our largest circle out of our um, stitch shape framelits. Um, so let's go ahead, let's do that first so we'll be ready to go to assemble. So I'm going to put my die cutting machine here. Let me grab my die. Whoops, I got a, hold on, I got a little piece of dimensional backing. As us crafters know, those are all over your your space and usually yourself. All right, let's run that through. All right, that's all we'll need our die machine for. So let's punch out our stitched circle. So let's go ahead and start assembling so that we can 
get some of this laid down. And I have flagged this um, with our triple banner punch. So you can, um, I put this piece in all the way up and I took off, you know, as much as I wanted. I might even have to trim it. I kind of, I start with a little less and then figure out where I want it to lay. Oh, I thought that was my multi-purpose glue. That is our puff paint that we're going to use. Good thing I realized that. I got so excited because I love this sweet. Okay. All right, so let's add our piece of Whisper White. And let's just see if I've got that before I really give it a nice press. Make sure I'm straight. Almost did it again. All right, let me get some liquid purpose, liquid, multi purpose liquid glue. Get my words all jumbled here on the back. All right, and let's lay this down inside our card base. That looks good. So here is where you can determine. Yeah, let me get my bone folder how you get a nice crease. I'm going to give this a nice crease. So if this is too long and you want it a little bit shorter, which I think I do, I'm just going to put it right back in here and I'm going to take off a little more of that. Let's see how, yeah, I think that's better. Okay, all right, so let's take our piece of designer series paper. This is for the inside. We're going to get that laid down. The other thing I think I forgot to mention when I was showing you the paper um, is some of it has some glitter um, snowy effect to it. So, you know, it's raised. It's not just um, flat, which we all love. Something a little bit more glitzy. All right, so now that puff paint there is really, I want to grab it every second it's not my glue all right we're going to add some glue here and we're going to add this to the front of our card all right look at that look how pretty such a quick and easy um fold Alright, so now we have our stitched shape. I'm going to put some glue here. And then we are just going to lay this. Give that a nice press. Okay, and then what I've done is I've just cut out the snowman that I want to punch. Um, with my punch, so I am going to stick that in there. And give him a nice, get that little scrap out. And then I have a hat here, which is cute. The designer, both sides of the designer series paper, so I don't want to throw that out. I can use that. Why waste it? And we are going to put him here with some dimensionals. So I'm going to grab three of those. And then we're, we will put him right here in the center. I have my little hat from my embellishment kit. I'm going to add a dimensional to that as well. Most of the time I put those down with liquid glue, but because I popped him up I want the hat to be popped up too. So. We're going to add that. Let me grab myself two little arms. We're going to stick those under there. Okay, and then I did put gloves on my original. Um, so let's, let's do that. I have some red ones already loose in there. Let's set that aside. We'll use some mini. Um, dimensionals on that. So let me grab my little piercer. We'll cover up his little hand with that. 
so fun. This is such a fun, whoops, I keep pulling the dimensional instead of the backing. There we go. Oh, see, it stuck to me. My hands are so dry, it all sticks. Look how cute he is. All right, so now let's get to the other fun part, which is our Snowfall Accents Puff Paint. So this is used um, with our heat tool. So you just need to shake it up pretty good. And I like to do like one, a few at a time, not all of them, because it is pretty liquidy. Um, and it'll take a minute or so for the heat tool to kind of um, activate it. So I'm going to do one side. And you can use as little or as much as you want. I think it's probably easier if you just kind of go a little lighter with it so you can see I have a bigger one and then different sizes here. I'm going to turn on my heat tool and we are going to emboss that or heat this up. I might have to go off camera. I'm going to try. My heat tool doesn't quite reach. I'm going to turn into their own shape and form. Hopefully you can see that. They kind of just, if you hold the heat tool long enough, it'll kind of continue to grow. And I just kind of watch that till I think, okay, I like that size or I think it's done. Um, we'll add another one, another few on this side here. And I'm sorry, I'll probably have to go off camera to get this to reach. Okay, so now you can see and I did hold that pretty long, so sometimes it kind of wants to warp your, your front piece there. You can just kind of reshape that, and then you should be good. But isn't that fun? Look at that snow. I absolutely love this. So let me show you another one um, that I actually, I think I might have saw on Instagram, which I thought was adorable. Um, this one is using our dog punch. So if you're a dog lover um, and have that... Um, punch. You can definitely do this one as well. Super fun. I used same same sizes, same um, product, and that one came out super cute also. So I do hope you guys enjoyed um, today's video. I, of course, love spending time with you. Um, I look forward to being back with you soon. You will find a full supply list in the description of the video if you need to purchase these products in my online store, and I will see you all real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.